What's up, flamethrowers? It's me, Flame the Dragon Hog here, and welcome to a new segment on the channel I like to call Chilling with Flame. <laughs> yeah, where I, Flame the Dragon Hog, just sits back and chill. But sometimes I chill with a special guest, or sometimes I chill by myself. But today, I am here with two very special guests. Um, one of which is going to be a mom soon, and the other one is training her to control her powers. Which, and they both have one thing in common, they're both Cedarins. That's right guys, they're both Cedarins. So anyway, um, please welcome to the first, so welcome, uh, Cosmo. You know, <laughs> the person who celebrated her birthday yesterday. Hello everybody, this is Cosmo the Cedarin here. Yep. And her and her teacher, all the way from the Supersonic X universe. Please meet. I mean, please say hello to Kami Masubi. Hello, everybody. Yep, that's right, guys. I have the ever so beautiful Kami Masubi back here, and same thing with the equally beautiful Cosmo. So, ladies, how has your training been going ever since the uh, Would You Rather video? Oh, it's been going great, Flame. Um, most of the time, Khan in here, she's been teaching me how to, you know, control little things, like the leaves and grass. Well, that's actually kind of cool, because Cosmo, I actually know you could actually control all kinds of things involving plants. But, I know that Kami here, she could control just straight trees. Well, that's all the power of a goddess. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> I mean, don't forget, she is a goddess, uh, Cosmo. Yes, I know this. I know this. Okay, just saying. Sorry, that's the hormones. Remember, I am pregnant. I know, I know. Oh, I've been meaning to ask that. Have you, um, figured out what... Have you figured out what's gonna... Okay, what I'm trying to say is, have you figured out what you're having? Well, we already know you're having a girl, but the big question is... Is it going to be a cedarin, a fox, or a hybrid? Well, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a hybrid. Maybe. Who knows? It might be. But there's still a 50% chance it might be a fox, another 50% chance it might be a cedarin, or maybe it might be a 50% chance it could be a hybrid. It might, maybe. Who knows? I honestly don't know. Well, we'll soon find out once the day comes. Oh, and, uh, Kami, you said you have something for Cosmo. Yes, I actually do. I noticed that red gem on your chest. Yes, um, my mother, my mother, Earthia, gave it to me. She said it, she said it contains a lot of great power. Yet, she did use her great power to help save the world at one time. Yes. Yes, um... <laughs> it was kinda crazy. But... it was... something. After when Tails decided to blow me up with a, um, you know... cannon? Yeah, but... It, but, don't worry, um, thanks to me, I was able to, you know, bring you back. Yeah, and I do thank you for that, Flame. Yeah. <laughs> Man, we had all kinds of crazy adventures. Uh, uh, Kami, if you want, we can tell you some of the adventures. Alright then, I still, I have lots of time. Okay then. Well, one of the great adventures that me and Cosmo and all of our other friends had was when me and Sonic faced off against the Metarex for the very first time. That was crazy. You see, me and Knuckle, you see, me and Sonic, we were flying in space thanks to the Chaos Emeralds, and, and get this, the Metarex, they were trying to get the Chaos Emeralds, so me and Sonic used Chaos Control to send them to different places in the galaxy. And, but unfortunately, me and Sonic plummeted to our deaths. I'm kidding, we didn't die. We just plummeted. And believe it or not, Eggman saved us. Uh, I still couldn't believe that. But then later on, the Menorex came, or then later on, the Menorex came and took the planet egg, and our planet started dying. But 
then Cosmo, then Cosmo showed up. Yeah, then Cosmo showed up, and then we, and then we went on this massive adventure together. We went to different galaxies, trying to find all seven Chaos Emeralds. We met all kinds of new friends, made new foes, and it was kind of crazy. But it was still pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, well, and I did get to learn a lot more about my past and what really happened to me. Because when I first came to you, I was really confused. Yeah, you were really confused about what happened to you, Cosmo. Yeah, but luckily I do know everything now. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, but anyway, uh, if you want, uh, Kami, I can tell you another great thing that happened during our great space adventure. Oh? Alright then, like I said, I have plenty of time. Okay, well, um, one adventure we actually had, it was on this crazy ice planet. It was called the planet Freezy, and boy did it live up to its name. It was covered in ice and snow. But the only reason why it was is because the Manorex stole the planet egg already, Ugh. which made it, which made it, which made it constantly snow almost all day and night. And luckily, uh, me and Sonic, we did man, and with a little bit of help from Knuckles, we did actually manage to defeat the Manorex and restore life to that planet. And what else was kind of crazy is we did find a Chaos Emerald, but <laughs> after fig after when Rouge kit and but when after when Rouge found it and took it, turns out it was nothing but a fake Chaos Emerald. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I can imagine the look on Rouge's face when she found out it was a fake Chaos Emerald. Rouge. Hmm. Wait a minute, Rouge. Isn't that that? Bad girl with the great big situations. Yeah, that's her. And isn't she obsessed with jewels? Yeah, she is. But the Rouge in your universe, she's not really that obsessive of jewels. Nope. Okay, but anyway, uh, Kami, tell the audience a little bit about your universe. Oh, well, um, my universe is pretty much the same as this one. But it's divided into three different places. One place is the Sonic, is the Sonic world. The second place is the Link world, you know, or Legends of Zelda. And the third world is the Mega Man. That's why you see a lot of Mega Man, uh, Link, and Sonic crossovers in my universe. Well, that's actually pretty cool. And for some reason, uh... A lot of these little red dinosaur things, they keep dying every chance they get. Wait a minute, little red dinosaurs. Are you talking about Yoshis? Yep, Yoshis. <laughs> oh my gosh, I do feel kind of bad for those Yoshis, honestly. I mean, all you see is just their blood and guts everywhere. Ugh. And sorry guys, I'm starting to sound a little bit gore. Oh, I almost forgot to mention this in the beginning of this. Uh, pay no attention to that black bar on the picture. Um... Just pay that no mind. That's just part of the thumbnail now. <laughs> but anyway, just don't pay that any mind. Anyway, uh, continue, uh, Kami. Well, but there is one other place. It's called the Land Beyond Mobius, and that's where us goddesses live. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. But wait a minute. I thought you and the other four goddesses, you know, the goddess of water and the two goddesses of love... I thought you guys lived in a separate realm. Yes, we do. But it's still connected to the land beyond Mobius. That's where Susano, Amaterasu, and Tisuyami live. Oh. That's kind of cool. Oh, and by the way, have you heard that there's also a new goddess? A new goddess? What do you mean? Well, believe it or not, after when Susano left the... Uh, left, um her Sonic's world. She actually was pregnant. Oh yeah, I remember. And she had a baby. Her and she had a baby, her and Sonic, but unfortunately, uh the baby didn't really uh know Sonic all that much since she mainly grew up with her mom. So, yeah, that's kind of interesting. Also, uh so tell me something. 
so tell me something. I've been meaning to want. I've been wondering what the heck is up with the beef between Susano and uh, Toy Toma. You know, those sea dragon, also known as the goddess of water. Well, let's just well let's just say um, they have kind of a beef. Reason why is because Susano stole the role of goddess of storms from uh, Toy Toma. Oh, I see. So they kind of have a great big beef. No wonder when Toy Toma attacked um, the town, uh, Susano wanted to take her on. I get it. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. So they and they and well, their beef is kind of over now. Let me guess. Cause of Sonic. Yes, exactly. Because you see, um, me, Toitoma, and the other goddesses, we all are actually the lovers of that hedgehog. Oh, so let me get, wait, so wait, so let me get this straight. You guys are actually the lovers of Super Sonic X Universe Sonic? Yep, that's right. <laughs> And almost every single night, he always cuddles up with us. Okay. Well, that's actually uh, pretty strange, yet cool. But, um, in my opinion about shared relationships, it's somewhat weird. It's somewhat weird. Because, honestly, uh, I mean, take it from somebody who almost got into a shared relationship with one of my exes. Trust and believe me. That's not good at all, because the thing is, in a shared relationship, if you pay only, if you pay attention to one girl and you have like a whole stream of girls, then all then all the other girls are just gonna feel left out. Just keep paying attention to one girl, and think about it like this: that's just not fair. So, yep, that's why I'm a one woman man, and that's why I'm a one woman uh, dragon hog. And that's why I'm a one-man Cedarin. <laughs> you said it, Cosmo. Oh, and uh, by the way, Cosmo, have you ever thought of any baby names for the baby yet? No, not yet. But I'm pretty sure. But I'm pretty sure Tails is probably thinking up something. Oh, by the way, speaking of which, how is Tails holding up about becoming a father? Are you kidding me? He's been locked inside his workshop all day. I have no idea what he's been up to. <laughs> For all I know, he's probably making a rocket-powered baby carriage. <laughs> or maybe some other thing. I mean, hey, your husband is a smart... is smart. Well, the tales I know, he's not smart at all. I mean, sure, he does have good battle plans and stuff, but he barely is smart. <laughs> and get this. Whenever it, and whenever it's time to get serious, he always switches over to his deep voice. Which is actually kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, I heard his deep voice. But anyway, um... So, uh... Kami, I've been meaning to ask you this. Um, the vest that you're wearing, that black vest with the gold things on your shoulders, do all the goddess, do all the gods and goddesses wear that vest? Yes, of course. So, what about it? Oh, no, I was just asking, because it looks pretty cool. Well, if you, hey, you know, I am in training. How about you can, t how about you and all the other gods and goddesses can teach me and all the other dragon hogs. You can teach me and, and all the other dragon hogs to be gods and goddesses. It could be cool, but unfortunately, uh, I don't think that's going to work out because if we become goddesses and gods, then we have to go to your universe. And I don't want to leave, and I don't want to leave Mobius. Trust me. And I'm pretty sure lots of other, and I'm pretty sure all my other dragon hog friends don't want to leave. Other dragon hogs? You mean there's more? Yep, there's lots more dragon hogs. <laughs> Yep, well, there's actually me. I'm the fire I'm a fire dragon hog. Um and then there's um Ice Pick. Well, female Ice Pick. She's the main one. 
Um, she's an ice dragon hog. Then there's the male ice pick. Then there's the male ice pick. He's with Shadow. He's somewhat more evil or more serious. But he's still an ice dragon hog. Um, then there's Spark. He's a lightning dragon hog. He's a lightning dragon hog. Um, then there's Rocky, which is short for Roxanne. Uh, she's an earth dragon hog. Um, then there's Aqua. Uh, she's a water dragon hog. And last but not least, there's Twist. And she is a... Sorry. And she's an air dragon hog. So yeah, there are six dragon hogs. And believe it or not, we actually praise... We actually praise a dragon hog god's goddesses as well because in fact we actually pray to two very special dragon hogs which is which is which is her name is sun which is the dragon hog of light and then there's skull the dragon hog of darkness those are the two main goddesses dragon hogs that we pray to and you see and you see they gifted our ancestors with their elemental powers and when those ancestors die, their powers pass on to the next generation. Which, of course, which was my grandfather, she, he passed on his powers to my mom. And now my mom passed her powers on to me. And I passed my powers on to my daughter. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Wow. You dragon hogs are very, very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> but the only thing is, all the other dragon hogs got wiped out. Us six are the main dragon hogs left. Well, except for my mom. Because I managed to bring her back. Thanks to a little bit of help of, from a friend of mine. Yeah, we actually managed to bring my mom back. But if you think but if you think about it, um my mom has seen a lot more of Mobius than I have. Because hey, during my Sonic Underground days, I only got to see half of Mobius. But when I got older and started running around on my own, it started getting a little bit more cool. Oh, well that's very interesting. Yeah, I never actually knew that about you, Flame. Well, Cosmo you see, there are some things about my past I really don't like talking about. But I'm glad I can share it with you two. I mean, you two are my very good friends. Hey, Toitoma. I mean, pfft, sorry. Did you just call me Toitoma? I'm sorry, Kami. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Okay, but anyway, uh... Can I ask you something? Sure. Um... Did, are when you when you come here is there any place that you're is there a place where you can stay at no we don't have a place to stay remember we're new here oh well i have an idea how would you like to become my roommates because guys get this uh cuz guys get this uh rosie cuz get this guys um, Rosie, um, Buns, Alicia, and Fiona, they're all about to, they're all moving. Get this, they're gonna go move to Knothole. Yep, they're moving to Knothole. But here on Mobius, you goddesses can stay inside my house if you want to. Really? Yeah, of course. I mean, you guys, I mean, hey, you guys are my very good friends. And plus, not to mention, I'm pretty sure Susano could, I don't know, <laughs> work on her cooking a little bit more. I mean, have you seen what she tried to feed Sonic the other day? Yikes. Well, her version of Sonic. Yeah, so, hey, once you got, so once we get everything all squared away, you guys can make your move here. That's very nice of you. And for that, I am humbly grateful. And you also get this. Mwah. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, thank you, uh, Kami Masubi. Thank you. But don't you think that's kind of cheating on your Sonic? No, not really. He stopped paying attention to me. 
And in fact, he's not paying attention to all the other goddesses. Just us four. He mainly pays attention to Susano, Amaterasu, and Tisuyami. Oh, so those three are his favorite goddesses. Yes, because they actually lived with him. Us, all we did was, you know, attack him, then kind of slept with him. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes, the old hit it and quit it. Ugh. But it's okay, I guess. I don't know. Oh, snap. I'm looking at the time now, guys. Well, guys, looks like we should wrap this up here. Um, So, like I said before, guys, this is a new segment. This is going to be happening uh, every so often. Not every Saturday, if you guys are thinking that. No, this isn't going to happen every Saturday. This is just going to happen, like, every often or something. Or once a month or something. I don't know. I'm still trying to work out time and stuff. But, anyway, uh... But anyway, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed listening to us talk and talk about some stories and our great adventures and stuff. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And anyway, uh, Toitoma, once everything gets... Oh my gosh, I keep calling you Toitoma. I am so sorry. Flame, when are you going to stop? Sorry. <laughs> anyway, Kami... Masubi, anyway, Kami Masubi, um, once everything gets squared away with the other goddesses... You will be able to move into my universe, and we'll combine them both. I mean, this world is kind of combining um, Mega Man, because Mega Man, Zero, and lots of their friends do often stop by here, but they don't really stay for long. I really do wish they would stay for, I wish they would stay for a while, but like I said before, guys, it's only a matter of time. But anyway, like I said before, uh, Cosmo, uh, Cosmo, uh, Kami, it's re it was a really, really nice sitting here talking to you guys, telling stories and stuff. Yeah, we really enjoyed the company. Well, I better get going. Tails is probably worried about me. Oh, well, I understand. You be careful, okay? Remember, you're walking, you remember, you're carrying, remember, <laughs> You have a little bundle of joy in you. Yeah, I know, I know. I'll be careful. Okay, well, uh, well, hey, how about I fly you home? Oh, well, that's okay, too, I guess. Okay, and, uh, Kami, you can stay with me until the other goddesses get here. All right, then. Okay, then, that sounds like a plan. Okay, well, guys, if you need me, I will be, uh, flying Cosmo back to Tails. Like I said before, he's prob like she said before, he's probably worried about her. So we'll be heading out now. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this uh, little chill time with me, um, please hit that like button and let me know in the comments down below if you guys want Toy Tom. If you want, <laughs> I keep calling her Toy Toma. Flame. Okay, I'm sorry. But anyway, if you guys want Kami Masubi to come back onto the channel, let me know in the comments down below. I'm pretty sure she might be the main one that might be coming back because, honestly, she's my second favorite uh, goddess to come back. Um, her and Inashishi, you know, the bear. But anyway, uh, so yeah, this is Flame the Dragon Hog. Kami Masubi and Cosmo. Signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers. Okay, Cosmo, hop on my back and we'll fly off. All right, then. And, and, uh... Kami, you can just fly right next to me if you want to. All right, then. Okay, bye, guys.